All right, everybody, All Pro Exterior Services here again with the repair on a 390, the GX390 Honda with the pull cord that ripped off on me yesterday on a job. Anyway, you get three of these bolts, 10 millimeters. Just undo them. It comes right off, slips off. Okay, let's bring it to the garage. Now, I took off the old cord because it ripped, but let me show you what I got. Okay, so here's the old cord. You can see it frayed here. So, junk, trash. Okay, and here's a new cord I got from Ace Hardware. It's like 50 cents a foot, so it's $2.50. It's five foot, is what you need. And I tend to, I tape the end as, as, as tight as I can get it. You wanna get this as small as you can get it on the end of this, okay? So, once you get all the old cable out, the cord out, you, you understand it. And this, here's a handle. So this insert goes inside this handle, you pop it out and put this on the side until we get this ripped up. Okay, so we know that the by the angle of this position of this hole that it pulls this way and it needs to retract back this way. So if you spin it like this, you'll see that's the way it needs to go. So we turn this until it stops. It's gonna be like four or five complete turns. Okay, it stopped. Now is what I do is you find a hole, which this one has an arrow by it. Somebody must have inspected it and put the arrow when they assembled it. So you, I go back. So here's the hole for the where it goes. So I come back right there, get it close as I can. Let's get a regular old screwdriver so it doesn't release on you. And jam it in there, and there you go. So now my hole is lined up with this hole. So when I sh I'm gonna stick the cord in this way. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. All right, everybody, I don't know if you can see this, but I got it through this hole here. So now you gotta work it through the hole where it's gonna be pulling from, from the engine. So I'm gonna push that in, try to get this. And again, these needle nose come in handy even with the tape because you can kind of bend it and get it where you want it to go. And there we have it. And then tie you a double knot on the end. Make sure it's nice and tight. So I got a double, just a knot, pull it through. Boom, there you go, it's in there. All right, now on the other end, before you release the tension on this spring with the screwdriver, you want to put on your handle, the rubber piece. And then you need to put the insert on, which is right here. So it comes in the insert like this. Just tie your knot on this bad boy too. And at this point, you can take your tape off if you want to. I'm going to just go ahead and cut a little section of this off. Take your tape off. Then I put a little burn on it to kind of help. So it doesn't unravel on you. Okay. Pull this up like that. And your handle goes in here like this. Pop, that's done. Now we pull this screwdriver out. So just pull back on it a little bit. Let off the tension, slip it out the grill. And just be careful with your fingers. There you go. Back in action. So now is what we do. Come back to the truck, or the trailer rather. Just slip this on like this. Perfect. And set your bolts in here. Well, it's gonna be tough to do this. Let's see if I can set you guys up right here. You 
can see it. Anyway, I like to run a little extension, line it up, put it in there. One down. You only got three, two kind of on the sides right here. One to the right, one to the left, and then one at the bottom. Here. Put a little tighten on them. You don't over tighten. There you go. Back in business. There you go. Call that Sunday pick day. Back in business for two dollars and fifty cents. So it's maybe not a bad idea to again keep some extra cord in your toolbox in case it happens on a job or hole cover. Anyway, please like, sub, call, comment. Hope this helps. Peace.